Hello, my beautiful love goods, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing another base game only house, and this one is really fun because it's a cottage core house. You know how much I love cottage core, right? I love cottage core. This is almost, it almost feels like cottage core and dark academia had a baby. It's like kind of in the middle, um, and I'm here for it. So, um, yeah, I actually just had this idea just pop in my head one night. I was like, base game, but maybe make it cottage core. So here it is. Um, I really like how it came out. It was actually really nice to just kind of go through base game and see what I could use to replicate this style in The Sims 4 and I'm really happy with the outcome. So it's just a very simple two-story house. Uh, it's just got one, ba well, it's got one and a half bathrooms and a bedroom and you know all the all the works um i actually put an outhouse in the front yard i don't know if that's exactly nice but i just there was a spot in the front yard and i was like i need to fill this space so i'm just gonna put a little building and i'll figure out what to do with it later and then later on i was like what if i just put a toilet here it'd be very useful you know like it's just it would just be handy so that you know if they had guests over <laughs> That's so silly, but um, I actually put that um, crafted toilet from the base game. You know that crafting bench that we have in the base game? You can actually make a toilet, and uh, yeah, um, there's a couple toilets you can make, actually. One of them is, like, very expensive and nice and pretty, and then the other one's just kind of... It, it looks like it would belong in an outhouse, so um, it, it was perfect, but um, if y'all don't know what an outhouse is, which I'm not sure if y'all wouldn't, but... Just to be just to be clear, it's a little it's a little bathroom outside. It's just a building and it's small and it's just there's the door and you walk in and the toilet's in front of you and it's just there. Um, if that wasn't clear, think about a porta -po porta potty, but old-fashioned <laughs> I don't know um, but yeah um, I really loved how this house came together I went through went crazy with the debug landscaping of course because obviously in base game you're very limited uh, but um, you know base game landscaping is okay I mean most of the landscaping that we do have just in the normal catalog I would say is mostly base game there's some stuff from packs but I would say the majority is base game but um, I decided to uh, use the debug stuff as well well, so that I had more variety and honestly it looks so nice I love using these little stone like pieces of flat stone for the pathway up to the front door and then there's another entrance to the house it's actually just to the like left um basically I just imagine that being like a little add-on that they built because maybe maybe the house originally you know was just the main section and they needed a bit more space or they wanted a bit more space so they just did that so yeah um, but uh, I used that lavender out front I thought that looked really nice and then the fence pieces there are from debug as well um, if you don't know how to access these items all you have to do is make sure testing cheats true is enabled so you basically type in testing cheats space true or on it could be either one of those um, I'm pretty sure um, but then you can also type in BB dot show live edit objects true uh, essentially uh, th that brings up all the world objects now you can also type in BB dot show hidden objects true and that brings up a number of like a number of other things too but um, in my experience you don't actually have to type that cheat in however sometimes you may have to it just I feel like it depends on region and mods and computers I don't really understand the differences I mean I don't know but um, I simply just type in the show live edit objects cheat and that's all I need to type in aside from you know testing cheats but yes that's that way you don't have to scroll through a million and one items uh, just to get to the debug items or the world debug items but yeah, so here is the little building that I added. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to make it. I was like, oh, I'll make it a little shed. I can just put like, you know, I can put some stuff in there. But um, when it came to it, I was like, I'm just going to make it useful <laughs> and make it a toilet. So um, I added a little pond out front as well. And I used these uh, ba these world I like edit object uh, like planter boxes one of them on the windows there on the top floor and um, that little window um, from the base game obviously um, on the roof section that I just placed it looks like 
not a star, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's like a four pointed star sort of, but it's rounded. Um, I don't know what you would call it, but I've never used that before, but I really liked how it looked here. I just, I don't know. I, I've never used it before and I'm really happy that I got the chance to use it this time because uh, these windows from the base game, they kind of are in like a set almost. Um, it's like the mega set or something. I don't know why they call it mega, but it's, I guess it's just because there's so many. I don't know, but um, the doors as well went with those and honestly, it made the house look really, really good. I think it just made it look way more cohesive and just... I don't know, just it just looked nice. And um, the backyard I was actually happy with. I am so like nitpicky and I get super frustrated on backyards and like sizes and fences and just all sorts of little, you know, not important details. Um, but in this case, I actually was very happy with it because I used these shrubs or hedges from the edit objects, the world edit objects, um, live edit objects. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I use those and uh, use these flower boxes to line the uh, the little low lying fence there, just so that it had a little bit of separation. And honestly, it looked really, really nice. Um, this tree is from that uh, debug section as well. Uh, it's really, really pretty. Uh, just there's just a lot of stuff from debug out here. Okay, like for the majority, like if you see any plants, you know, like natural plants that aren't in pots, um, they're from the debug section most likely. So um, I just went crazy. But anyway, um, here I am moving on to the interior, and uh, I had to reconfigure the stairs here a bit because I wasn't happy with where the ba the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> the bathroom wasn't going to be placed correctly though. Um, no, <laughs> the bathroom wasn't going to be placed in a good position and um it has a very small bathroom upstairs i'm not gonna lie it's just a one by three tile wide you could possibly add one downstairs if you want to kind of shrink the kitchen down a bit um if that's what you would you know if you don't care but um i wanted the kitchen to be a little bit bigger and uh, this wallpaper i discovered it in a recent build and i love it um i don't know if i stuck with it though but i love that wallpaper it's so nice i, I don't know what it is it's just I don't know. Sometimes I'm just playing The Sims 4 and I'm just playing with the base game and I just find that I really, really love the items in the base game. It's weird. Like I just, I, 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 when I build with just the base game, I just have this, have so much fun. I'm not like, I'm not like stressing out over what items to use. I'm like, oh, okay, this is a base game build. I know exactly what countertops are going to work with this sink and this tiling and, and this thing here. Like I, I know it, I know it so well. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It was a nice build and I love this kitchen. It's very like cozy and, uh, my phone is beeping. I hope you can't hear that, but, but yeah, it's, it's just a very nice, very nice kitchen. Um, I went with a lot of, you know, beige and, you know, white and cream colors and all that. Cause you know, cottage core, but, um, the windows here are really nice. I love that there's floor to ceiling windows, um, and a nice little, uh, tablecloth table. I never really used that table, but it fits so perfectly in with this style. I don't know what it was. Um, but the tiling on the walls is actually from an update that we received. Um, it's been, it's, it's been a while. It's definitely been a while since we re received that update. I think it was the, I don't want to, I, I, is it the Arabic update? I don't really, again, I'm just going to say, I'm, I can't remember what it was called, but, um, it was an update where we had, like, we got some new, like, archways and a new door and some tiling. It was really, really nice. Just a little, it was a little update. It had some other, like, build by items in it too, but, um, it was just a nice little update. Now, I, I really enjoyed it. It had a lot of really nice items, but, um, I think it came with that plant that we love, right? I'm, I'm, if I, am I making that up? I can't remember. I probably am. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was nice. No, that was a different pack. I don't remember. Um, we've gotten a lot of updates with the base game, which I can say I really love the items that they've patched in over the past year or two. Uh, the items are really, really nice. They're nicely detailed and, uh, I don't know. They, I think, I think they just look nicer than some of the items in the base game. Um, but yeah, so the kitchen's nice and cozy and all that fun stuff. And then um, here in the entrance area, you could probably have put a bathroom here. And that's actually what I was considering. But I felt weird putting a bathroom in the front of the house where there's a window on the porch. Like, I felt weird putting a bathroom there. I don't know what it was. I was like, 
I, maybe I should have put the kitchen here instead and then put the bathroom on the other side, but I love how the kitchen came out. I didn't want to change it. Um, yeah, if I had if I had built this house a second time, I probably would have changed the layout a bit on the inside, um, but I decided to put a typewriter here. This is actually just a decor item. They can't actually use this, but um, it's probably an unlocked item as well, but uh, I just placed it there because I imagined them using a typewriter. I don't know. Um, I just felt putting a computer in this house just didn't seem right. So yeah, I just put that. Um, I don't know. I've just been really into that style lately of just dark academia, cottage core, like that just kind of vintage vibe. I don't know what it is, drink. Um, I don't know what it is. Like I, I just, I love it. I've just been obsessed with it. I actually recently, not recently, it's been a while since I found her, but uh, there is a YouTuber on here called Rachel Maxi, And uh, I think that's how you say her last name, but she does a lot of vintage fashion videos, but um, she's, she's just got a really cool style. And I just, I love how I love the fact that she just wears vintage clothing just because she loves it. And there's a load of other YouTubers out there that are like this as well. And I don't know, I just, upon discovering her, I just kind of became obsessed with this vintage like approach to building and decorating and stuff. Uh, just cause I don't know, it's just so different than what I normally see in the community. Like I normally see a lot of very like suburban homes or, you know, rustic, modern, like I don't really see and, and you know, I'll see a, 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 an occasional a, a, like Victorian house, but I don't know. I just, I, I don't see this kind of stuff. And that's why I build it so much because I just, I need more of it in my life. Um, but yeah, and I think the base game lends itself really well to these styles also. Like, un I, like surprisingly so, um, it just works well for me. I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, the majority of the downstairs has been finished. And so now I'm moving on to the upstairs. I kept it pretty simple. It's just a bed and a bathroom. Um, it's pretty nice though. I really, really like how it came out. Um, it looks, it's nice and cozy up here. I used this bed from a patch that we received some time ago. We've received like a couple of patches. And at this point, I don't remember what items came with which. Um, I just know that they are patched in items. So this bed is one of them. And uh, it's it's pretty nice. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I think the colors um, like worked really well with, with this style. Like that's kind of what I go with, with this. And they also worked well with the, the curtains there, but I also tend to go with focusing on colors and textures rather than like shapes and styles and stuff. So that's why I tend to go with a lot of muted like greens and oranges and some, a lot of browns, um, and beige and just cream colors and golds and stuff. Like I tend to gear, like gear more towards that. Is that how you say it? Um, but yeah, it just, it just suits the style a bit more. And, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's my tip is just focus on colors rather than styles because I think that eventually the styles are going to look good together anyway because even if they don't match they're going to match color wise and then it feels more cohesive it doesn't feel like just a bunch of random stuff it feels oh this feels coordinated even though they look different you know what I mean so yeah but anyway um the bathroom is the last little section and I'm going to go ahead and sign off here because my voice is starting to die my allergies they're killing me y'all it's that late summer allergy season it's getting into fall it's my it's I love fall but I hate the allergies but anyway I love you all so so much be sure to be drinking enough water today you can have some coffee just make sure you drink water too I'm drinking some right now I've got my bot water bottle here water bottle you know what? I'm not going to try to say it because I keep messing it up lately but anyway I love you all so so much and I hope you all are doing well Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird and beware of the Nargles.
the other 